in the hindu community women are not allowed into certain temples the shani shignapur it took it took uh, women uh, 70 years to get into it they got into shani shignapur only in 2016 and sabrimala the fight is still on women in the age group of 10 to 50 cannot go to sabrimala temple i have already explained this in media in many different ways but now that you are once again asking the question and once again it's a issue let us understand this this is a culture where there are more goddess temples than god temples there are more female deities worshiped in this culture than male deities in south we call them amman maryam and this in north there are various kinds of devis so the restriction in the temple is for a completely different reason i spoke about sani signapur and i know the whole activist groups went against me because they just waiting for an opportunity always see these are occult temples you know what's occult when you do occult practices women in different states particularly in states of pregnancy or menstrual states it's not good for them they're very vulnerable at that time they can hugely impact their health and well-being so they said you should not enter occult temples only on certain days when there are no such practices you enter otherwise when practices are going on you do not enter because it's not good now about talking about Shab shabarimala and other hill temples these were mainly said because this is tiger country today maybe the poor tiger needs to be saved by you and me that's a different matter otherwise in southern india in western ghats tigers roamed in thousands okay so climbing this hill temples was always a risk and people have even today they have these practices that they will carry some samrani is a kind of a thing that smokes they always carry this when they go up because tigers will attack you otherwise if they smell biology they will go for you if you take a woman with you always a woman is more easily smelled down by a uh, carnivorous animal than a man so they said never take the woman if you take the woman for sure tigers will get you so all hill temples not only shabarimala all hill temples they put this restriction but now the poor tiger is gone it needs protection <laughs> so now shouldn't <laughs> and the women the are practice change now the women are better equipped you know in terms of modern amenities they're better equipped they're not what they were at that time if it's only for that reason definitely it must change there's no question at the same time shabarimala temple i do not know the full detail but from what i have heard from the temple authorities they are saying that is because the deity is a brahmachari if there is such a sensitivity i think you should leave it you just said that this is 21st See? century yes, india yes. and books that were written thousands of years ago no no that's what i'm saying now need to change no, no. practices that were uh, gotten into thousands of years ago now need to change so why do you stop one step short no 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 i am not stopping one step short let me make this clear if it is for safety which was done for wildlife and stuff it's not relevant anymore okay women are equipped to walk up any mountain yes just now i've come from 3 weeks of himalayan treks uh more women with me than men actually in numbers so they are as equipped and they're walking with me wherever i go there is no point because their clothes their boots their stuff they are as equipped as a man today but those days things were different so they said this is not a temple to go for women but if they're being discriminated simply because of their biological nature it must go there is no question but if it is because of the nature of the temple we must look at it but sadguru ji with all due respect if the god is a brahmachari so to speak see, you're, you're, is see, this god idea is not our idea this is this is a western idea we don't have a god the the holy deity the holy deity that uh, yes. is there is a brahmachari it's a we worship that brahmachari because he is all powerful no no is that's not that's not the point Is a he brahmachari say right now the woman enters the no, temple no 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 right now in our ashram we have brahmacharis and mas okay there are lady monks and men monks if the women demand we want to go into the men's segment of the brahmachari segment it's called the sangha we want to go into the male sangha no because even we cannot enter into the female sangha what what is that 
there are temples in Karnataka where men cannot enter. So these things were made for a different reason, this is not gender discrimination. If there is gender discrimination, it must end, there's no question but about it. But this is gender discrimination, how else See, I will not go it? into the lady's toilet, is it gender discrimination? It's just sense, simple sense <laughs> So you… you would only… only compare not… women not going to Sabrimala, uh, you know, compare it with men not going to a lady's uh, toilet? I'm not… Well, let's not make temple and toilet one thing, that's not what I'm saying. All I'm saying is, there are certain sensibilities and there is discrimination. These are two different things. Sensibilities have to be respected, you can't level everything. But if it is discriminated just because of biology of a woman, that must go hundred percent. But isn't it just that? No, why no. women… why women between ten and fifty cannot go? See, for Women exa- above fifty? are not uh, uh, See, discriminated because, against. No, no. A, so it's biology. See, a deity is seen as a live person, do you understand? A brahmachari is sitting in his own abode, so women don't go into his abode. If a, a young woman was sitting, we say men should not enter that room, just the same thing. So the monks are there in the sangha, women cannot go. Is it gender discrimination? For his safety, not for theirs. So, you know, <laughs> that's very well put, but you want the Supreme Court, which has to look at everything, as you said, by the one book that governs this country, which yes. is the Constitution. Yes. Constitution should... never said, Constitution never said you should not take the sensitivities of various people in this country. You have to respect the sensitivities of everybody. But if it's outright discrimi- discrimination which is leading to an exploitative state, it must go. I'm repeating this once again, if any temple is stopping women from entering their premises based on their biology, it has to go, no question. But if it is because of certain sensitivities, if it is that the deity is of a certain nature and it maintains a certain thing, they want to do that. Suppose, why… why nobody talks about these temples where men cannot enter? There are temples in Karnataka like this. All right, uh, Sadhguruji, <laughs> I will… I will ask you I'm saying you're doing gender discrimination right now. Oh, well, Please fight I'm... for the men also, poor men <laughs> Poor men. Men… men in this country have never been uh, poor men, it's always the women who have been discriminated against. <laughs>